Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Jay Shimolaskis. Jay is CEO of Western Lithium. Western Lithium can be traded as WLC on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and it also can be traded as WLCDF on the OTCQX. Thanks, Jay, for being here with us today. Yeah, thanks, Jeb. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about uh, Western Lithium and our prospects uh, going forward. Jay, there's been a, a big pickup in interest in the lithium market, especially uh, in the U.S. Could you give us an introduction into uh, Western Lithium and especially the Kings Valley asset? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll just address uh, your, 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 your point there about the pickup in lithium. I mean, we've, we've seen the lithium market double over the last 10 years. Uh, it's now uh, reaching uh, about 150 to 160,000 tons a year, and we've seen this growth uh, at 8 to 10 percent a year uh, over the last uh, several years, and um, which would you know amount to over 10,000 tons a year. Um, our first phase of production uh, is projected to be about 13,000 tons a year. So, our lithium project. Uh, would produce about one year's worth of, of annual growth uh, at our first phase. And, of course, with phase two, we can double that production to 26,000 tons. But ultimately, uh, the way we, we positioned the company was to be a new supplier of high-quality lithium carbonate for the electrification of the automobile. I currently drive a, a Nissan Leaf, so uh, I'm a strong believer uh, of this industry. And, uh, and with that uh, uh, inflection point uh, on the horizon from the manufacturers like Mitsubishi and Tesla and Nissan and Toyota and other other and the GM you know, Chevy Volt, um, you know we expect an inflection, an inflection uh, over 100,000 tons of lithium carbonate a year or, or, or much higher than that uh, if they all take uh, batteries um, take on batteries the size of, of uh, groups like Tesla, and um, and that that looks like a very robust uh, lithium market. Jay, what's the importance of having a, a hundred percent owned king, uh, lithium asset located uh, right in Nevada when you're looking at all these different pro development projects? Well, well, I, th I think first and foremost, uh, it's diversification. Um, currently, seventy percent of all the lithium in the world comes from uh, three producers on two geological deposits uh, located in uh, Chile and Argentina. Uh, the other 30% uh, of the lithium market uh, comes from uh, one deposit in Australia that gets upgraded uh, in China. So essentially, um, battery-grade lithium, 30% uh, would, would, of that would come out of, out of China. So, so we're looking at uh, creating uh, another hub. Uh, our, our project is ranked as one of the largest in the world, uh, which would enable us to produce uh, uh, an amount of lithium that would equal to some of the largest producers down in, in Chile and Argentina. And, um, and we're looking at uh, a diversification uh, of lithium supply such that, uh, um, you know, that supplier would come out of the U.S. It would be uh, our Nevada-based asset. And um, so that's number one. And then number two, obviously, we just think that in terms of, uh, of new investments uh, in, the, in the resource space, um, having a domestic supply source uh, in the U.S. that can demonstrate uh, a low cash cost structure uh, that... Um, um, uh, is, in a, is in a good mining jurisdiction uh, uh, located within Nevada. Um, you know, we just think that this is this is the right place to be uh, in terms of uh, bringing on a new lithium supply source. And then, coupled with that, uh, we now have um, you know uh, companies uh, in the electric uh, car industry that are now um, wanting to build a domestic uh, uh, lithium battery um, um, manufacturing facilities. And so this, this just supports uh, uh, our theory that um, you, know, you, you need a diversified, diversified supply source, uh, that that source, um, uh, if it's in the U.S., uh, and the molecules are produced in the U.S., they will capture a lot of the innovation uh, that gets, that gets you know, developed around these uh, lithium sources, um, like powders and uh, proprietary battery technology. And we now have um, uh, some le leaders uh, in the electric car industry and the battery industry that also want to see this, uh, this type of uh, um, uh, supply source uh, domestically. 
Jay, let's focus a little bit on the the production cost curve. How does Western Lithium, the cost structure, competitive? How is it competitive with some of the other uh, producers in Argentina and and Chile? Well, we can demonstrate that uh, um, our cash cost structure uh, can be in the lowest quartile of producers. Um, we have a lithium project that. Uh, is competitive with um, with projects uh, based on our uh, lithium uh, um, uh, production, uh, but we also have a, a byproduct credit of potassium sulfate, uh, which is a fertilizer, and that also helps us to achieve uh, these uh, these low cash cost structures. Jay, let's focus. You know, we've had the downturn in the the junior mining sector over the past couple of years but what, what was interesting with western lithium is you found different ways of um, generating some near term uh, cash flow can you talk to us about some of the recent uh, developments with the producing of the organoclase from the Kings Valley asset yeah I mean I guess first and foremost we're, we're entrepreneurs and we are we're, we're mine uh, developers mine builders and so um, a few years ago, uh, we recognized that uh, we had a great opportunity uh, with our hectorite clay, which is a lithium-bearing clay, um, and and we uh, we uh, were approached by the uh, oil and gas industry, and um, we're told that hectorite was being used in high-pressure, high-temperature applications. Uh, it's a clay that is thermally stable, so when you drill into deep uh, uh, shale formations uh, or offshore. Um, they are using hectorite clay. So we, 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 we thought that, you know, he, here was a business that we could get uh, uh, into production. Uh, it would be a sustaining business that uh, would, would uh, generate cash flow for the company uh, while we were still developing a much larger project, which is our, our lithium project. And so we've gone ahead with that strategy um, uh, over the last few years, and uh, we expect to start producing our first ton of, of hectotone products, uh, in the summer of 2014, so we're just right around the corner from uh, from starting uh, cash flow. Jay, uh, as we can con conclude, could you talk to us about some of the other highlights of Western Lithium that may differentiate itself from so many other companies uh, in the in the junior mining sector? Well, we're we're a developer, um, and uh, and so we are always uh, our aim is uh, to 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 achieve cash flow uh, for our shareholders, uh, for the company, and uh, so we've demonstrated that with our clay business uh, starting uh, the summer of this year, and we expect to be revalued in the market from a developer to a producer uh, over the coming months. That's our first milestone uh, for this year. Our second milestone has always been that the investment interest would uh, come back uh, to the lithium market based off fundamentals of supply and demand that I mentioned earlier. And, um, and so we've positioned the company such that when that investment uh, interest comes back, that we will have a demonstration plant uh, in uh, operating, and we've selected a site in Germany that we can uh, show the world uh, our, the viability of our project, our cost structure, and we can attract that uh, next wave of, of lithium investment uh, into our project uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's a competitive project, number one, and number two, uh, it's, it's located in Nevada. And we're just starting to see now uh, investment interest come back to the lithium space on the back of, um, of this, uh, this success of the uh, electrical, uh, you know, the, the electrified car industry. And, uh, and the associated uh, battery industries uh, around that. Jay Shimolowskis, CEO of Western Lithium, which can be traded as WLC on the Toronto Stock Exchange and or WLCDF on the OTCQX. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Jeff. It's a pleasure.